Why do we struggle so much with anxiety, with depression, with self-doubt, with our relationships, with finding joy in life? Why is it so hard to find happiness? Why do we crave for more all the time? Do we want more and more and more? Well, because we're human and being human is freaking hard. It's not easy. In this video, what I want to show you is five easy concepts that you could apply into your life to bring more joy into your life, to be a better version of yourself. Are you ready? Let's roll. We all struggle with life. That's what we do. Everyone struggles with something. Maybe it's money, relationships, self-doubt. That's what we do. That's what we do as humans. So this concept that I'm going to show you here apply to all of us. Concept number one, Chikata Ganai. Yes, my Japanese is not my forte here. Chikata Ganai means you cannot control everything. You cannot control what you cannot change. You cannot control it all. The translation into our language could be, it is what it is. But I think there is a disconnect there because it is what it is, sounds self-defeating, sounds, that has a, a negative connotation, I think, that you're giving up, like, okay, it is what it is. But Shikata Ganai doesn't have that. It's actually, the meaning in Japanese is upbeat. It has this positive meaning that reminds you that you have to let go. You cannot control every outcome. You cannot control everything in life. So, Shikata Ganai, you cannot control the economy. Maybe you are a, a business owner. You have a business that is struggling right now. You cannot control what the Fed is doing. You cannot control the economy, but you can control the way you treat your employees. So you can control the way you, uh, I don't know, do marketing in your business. Shikata Ganai means let go. Don't get angry. Don't be discouraged. Don't be resentful because you cannot control that particular thing in your life. Work on the things that you can actually control. That will bring you joy, uh, peace, and it will help you deal with life in a better way. Wabi Sabi, that's the next concept. Wabi Sabi means embrace imperfection. Listen, I struggle with this. I'm having, you know, I always had a hard time accepting something that is not perfect in my life, in my relationships, and pretty much everything around me. And I have learned to find the beauty in imperfection, in my own imperfection, the imperfection of other people. But if you accept that imperfection and find beauty in it, you're going to enjoy who they are and you're going to enjoy having them in your life. So that, you know, in, in relationships uh, or with your body, you are not perfect. You, if you are struggling with your, uh, the way you see yourself in the mirror, because uh, I don't know, you think you, maybe you are too overweight, you're too thin, you're uh, too muscular, you don't have, uh, uh, enough muscles, I don't know. That is, there is beauty in that imperfection. And I think that we all have a, a hard time accepting what we see in the mirror. Uh, because somehow we've come to believe that beauty is this concept. And what is beauty? What is perfect? That's just subjective. So if, if we actually embrace that imperfection, we're gonna find joy in that imperfection and in life. So my wife talked to me about the, the example with this concept, Wabi Sabi, of a bonsai, the tree, because it's so asymmetrical, so imperfect, but it's beautiful and it's, it's there and you find and you work on those imperfections in, those, in that asymmetry and you find beauty. And it's a fascinating beauty what you see in that bonsai tree. So I think if we apply this to our lives and, and find that beauty in our imperfections, we get to cope with life a little better. All right, so if you're watching this video, I wanna thank you for watching it and I wanna ask you to subscribe. But listen, I know everyone asked for a subscription, but we've been working very hard at this for the last few months. It's a, it's a new channel. This is content that uh, takes hours to prepare and put together for you. So hopefully you can smash that uh, like button and subscribe button and help us grow. We need your subscription. We need your like. It helps us with the uh, algorithm, with the YouTube gods, and help us grow. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Uvaitori. It's a concept that means do not compare yourself with others. And that's difficult because, hey, we live in the age of Instagram and we see other people's lives and somehow they seem better. 
you see their life, you see their feet, and you go like, oh my God, my life doesn't look like that. I don't travel there. I don't have that car. I don't have that house. That's not my wife. That's not my husband. That's, uh, you know, everything seems perfect in those pictures. Just don't compare yourself to that. So this concept is based on the four trees that blossom, that bloom during the spring. Cherry, apricot, cherry, apricot, <laughs> Cherry, plum, apricot, and peach. I can't do it. This concept is based on the four trees that blossom during spring. Cherry, apricot, plum, and peach. They are all unique. They all have their own journey. They all have their own uniqueness, just like humans. So by embracing, by understanding this concept that these trees have their own magic, they all have their own journey. They blossom at their own time, just like you. So do not compare yourself with the other tree. Do not compare yourself, maybe you're a peach. Don't compare yourself with plum, I don't know, because they're different. You are different, you're unique. You have something that they don't have and they have something that you don't have. So embrace your uniqueness, your weirdness, your quirkiness, I don't know. Just be you. And by embracing that uniqueness, you will find joy in your life. There's nothing more that creates more self-doubt that just looking at other people's lives and craving that and thinking that you don't have that, that just focusing on what you lack of. And uh, that's just, it just hurts. So by understanding the concept, the trees, remember, at least remember the trees, that will make it easier for you. Plum, cherry, apricot, and what? Peach. And peach. So if you have those four down, those four flavors down, then I think you have a break, a great breakfast. I don't know. <laughs> it's just crazy. <laughs> so, so stop worrying so much about what others have accomplished and have. You don't know what they're going through. They, you don't know what they struggle with. So just focus on you. Focus on your own tree. Ikigai. Well, I made a video only on Ikigai, so you probably find it here. And so I'm going to go real quick about Ikigai because I think it deserves its own video, and I did it. So watch that one. Ikigai, this concept is based on four questions. What do you love to do? What are you good at? What, uh, the, what does the world need? And what can you be paid for? The moment you answer those four questions, you find purpose. That's the sweet spot. When you find those answers, you find that purpose, that sweet spot, that's Ikigai. So I want you to take a look at that video and watch Ikigai by itself because it deserves its own video. All right, my last concept is Kaizen. And you've probably seen this before because Kaizen is a very corporate concept. You see this in consultants out there, they talk about Kaizen, and, but I think you could use Kaizen in your life. If you think about it, it's just about improving something, improving uh, a company, improving a uh, process, improving your life. So if you actually work on improving something, very little, every day, if you do this for a year, it's 365 days, that's 365 improvements. You could actually improve a lot. So in, just to give you an idea, when we started doing this, when we started doing this channel and we decided to do YouTube, we had no idea about what to do. We didn't know anything about lighting or editing or cameras or scripts or uh, algorithms, none of that stuff. And we decided to do it because we wanted to do it because we're passionate about it. And we decided that we were gonna do and improve something, something little, something small, every single video, every single week, we will do something different. Maybe the sound will be better. The uh, color correction will be better. The lighting will be better. The concept will be better. The delivery will be better. So all those little things start adding up and that creates a better version of this, of these videos. So you could do it in your life. You could do a better version of yourself by creating good habits, by eliminating bad habits, by eliminating the cluster, you know, the clutter in your life, the chaos in your life by doing just something small every day. So just focusing on each step, each day, something little, you're going to apply this Kaizen concept into your life and you will see the results. All right, I really want to encourage you to use these concepts in your life. I know you probably heard them before and they're powerful and they're complex. And they might seem simple, but they're not. And if you actually take the time and, and take them and apply them to your life, they're going to apply differently in your life than in my life. 
Maybe I see Ikigai in a different way. Maybe I struggle with uh, you know, comparing myself to with others, or maybe I'm having a hard time embracing imperfection, or, uh, or all of them, I don't know. But by, by really see them for what they are, concepts that are just applicable, flexible to your life, I think you could have an incredible impact in, in the way your journey in this planet will be. Tell me what you think about this concept. Tell me about your, uh, if you ever tried them, if you ever tried one of these concepts in your life, what you think about it. Uh, tell me if you think they, they work, they do not work, they, uh, I don't know. Uh, I really wanna hear about it. So if you enjoy this content, don't forget to subscribe, give us a like, smash the like button and subscribe to our channel. Subscribe, like, and comment. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Take care.